with you have to bear a couple of things in mind with respect to the two situations that we had. Number one, um, they were in-season changes. Those are always more difficult because time obviously is of the essence, point one. Um, point two, uh, if a club has an internal candidate that they're so sure about that they're willing to forego the opportunity to interview anyone, okay, forcing people through an interview process really doesn't make a lot of sense. And, and, and you remember, the Seelig rule is only an interview requirement. Um, the idea that a club would take, make a suboptimal decision with respect to its next manager to avoid an interview requirement makes no sense to me. I mean, I, I know people write that. Um, I just don't think it makes any sense. So I think that um, with an interview requirement, everyone who has that sort of rule has, has over time realized there's situations in which either because of timing, exigencies, or a decision that's already made that you have to be realistic in terms of the enforcement of the rule. I, I think minority hiring, um, you will see as we move forward um, that we need to, I think the, the CELIG rule, the interview requirement is a very important rule. Um, you, you know, we're going to encourage clubs to the extent that it's feasible uh, to make sure that that rule is not only adhered to but scrupulously adhered to. But I, I, I think we're also um, have some ideas that we're working on that go beyond that rule, and we'll have more to say about that as time goes on, P providing additional support for candidates in terms of um, not only getting an interview but getting a job.